Welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to write equations for perpendicular lines. Let's remind ourselves what are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that create a right angle in the intersection. So let's visualize that. So here we have our first line. Let's call it L1. And here we have our second line. Let's call it L2. If they form 90 degrees at the intersection, then we can call those lines perpendicular lines. Now, why do they create a 90 degree angle? Because L1 and L2, they have negative reciprocal slopes. Now let's give an example. Let's say that the slope of L1, it is equal to two-thirds. If they are perpendicular to each other, then the slope of L2 will be negative. We change the sign, and then we flip the order. What was in the numerator goes in the denominator. What's in the denominator goes in the numerator. And let's keep this property in mind, because we will use this property to define equations which are perpendicular to each other. Let's take a look at some examples. So here, we want to write an equation that is perpendicular to the line y equals negative 2, 3, x plus 4. And we want to make sure that it passes through the point of 3, 1. So let's organize this information. We have an equation. And what we want, it's a perpendicular line. And it also passes through the point 3, 1. Well, notice that with the given equation, the slope of this line is negative two thirds. Knowing that perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, then therefore the slope of the perpendicular line that we're going to be defining is positive three over two. And we have everything that is needed to define the equation of a perpendicular line. Let's use the point slope form. And let's plug in what we know. We know that the slope of this new line should be 3 over 2. And the point that needs to pass is 3, 1. So let's just plug in that information. So we have y minus 1 equals positive 3 halves x minus 3. So let's bring down the left hand side. Let's distribute. And let's add a 1 to it. Let's understand this result. This line that we have just defined, it's perpendicular to the given line. Because notice that we use the idea of negative reciprocal slope. Let's take a look at another example. We want to write down an equation that is perpendicular to the line 7y plus 4x plus 3. And we want to make sure that it passes through the point negative 4, comma, negative 7. So let's write down what we have. Before we move any further, let's write this equation in standard form. Let's solve for y. Let's take away 4x. And let's divide it by 7. Now let's think about what we want. We want a perpendicular line. And we also want this line to pass through the point negative 4, comma, negative 7. Well, let's take a look at the equation that we were given. The slope of this equation is negative 4 over 7. Well, if we want a perpendicular line, we should have a negative reciprocal slope. Therefore, the slope of the perpendicular line should be of the form of positive 7 over 4. And notice that we have everything that we needed. So let's use the point slope form. Where we're going to let the slope to be 7 over 4. And we're going to let the point to be negative 4 comma negative 7. Let's plug in that information. So we got y minus negative 7 equals positive 7 fourths. Parenthesis x minus negative 4. 
Here we have a minus minus, which is a plus. Here we have another minus minus, so that's a plus as well. Let's bring down the left hand side. Let's distribute, so that becomes 7 over 4x. Let's distribute, so that becomes positive 7. And now let's take away 7. Another way that we could rewrite this equation is by saying y equals 7 over 4x plus 0. So let's make sense of this result. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.